Hey there, fellow mug sexuals. This is Ansi from Drink My Mug, and it's tea review time. Today we're brewing three different teas, Ecuadorian teas, from the Amazon, provided by Wara. It's called Guayusa. I hope I said that correctly. So this is a bit of a sensor test. I don't know what's in these three teas. I guess we could just sort of call them one, two, and three. But yeah, it's it's a bit of a mystery and we'll be surprised. We'll be surprised together. So let's do a quick smell test. Starting with number one. It's, it's loose leaf right now, so. Make sure to not get that in your nose. So far, they're both very natural, very earthy. Mmm. Um, this one is probably... They smell very similar. I don't smell anything sort of... Uh, I believe these are all natural teas, so I don't smell anything that doesn't smell like it's not from a forest. Obviously, it's from the rainforest, the Amazonian rainforest, so it's very, very natural. I like that. So... I have some hot water ready. Let's uh, let's, let's just metaphorically dive in. I can't actually dive in. It's a very small, shallow cup. Ooh, that one. It's like the, the hot water really activated. Now it's even more, more fragrant. Number one, that smells really good. All right, number two. Try to get the smell away. Oh yeah, woo, nice. Ooh, that's almost, almost get a pine smell, but that can't be right because I don't think pine trees grow from, grow in the Amazon, so it might be my brain getting the wrong message. So yeah, let's let's just let's just try. Starting with number one. Well, it's still hot, but obviously, I don't I didn't strain this, so it's very loose. Get some grit in your mouth, but you know, I'm okay with that as long as I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna drink that. It's actually Kind of tastes like an oolong, like a like a Chinese oolong. Nice. Number two. I'm smelling it again. I think it's similar to this one. Maybe a little more bitter. Um, once again, both of them very earthy taste. It's probably enhanced by the effect of uh, getting leaves in my mouth. Once again, that's not a negative to me. <laughs> this one's lighter, I think, than the other ones. Um, and I can really, I think this one tastes, the best way I can describe it, it tastes the most like nature. Like, like when I walk through and hike through a forest, I think this, Taste the way it smells, 100%, if that makes any sense. Ooh, I kind of want to go through and want to get one once more. Oh, yeah, that one's definitely like a almost very Asian. Yeah, but one and two, similar, um, kind of like an oolong. Uh, this one, two is probably a bit, has a bit of bitterness, but not a lot, so. And this one, it's actually more like a green tea almost. I think that's what it is. It, it smells and tastes like a, like a green tea. I got a big old leaf in there. Actually, no lie, once it's brewed, the leaves taste good. 
We got a snack too. Um, yeah, I like them. They're all interesting. Make sure you don't choke on those leaves though. <clears throat> I think this one's my favorite. Number one. Um, two's not far behind. Um, I like the sort of, it tastes like something I know. Kind of like the oolongs I like. Um, I drink any of them though, so I would like to thank uh, Wara for sending these uh, teas, the Guayusa. It's it's all really good. Uh, once again, we went in it blind. I didn't know what what I don't know any of the ingredients in it other than the the Guayusa leaf. That's that makes up most of the tea. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd be more interested to to learn. So that ends this review. Once again, thumbs up for all, but an extra thumbs up to number one. Um, so thank you for joining me. Uh, if you want to see more, you could, you could follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You could subscribe on YouTube by pressing the little bell to li and like, share, and subscribe, all of that. The bell is somewhere at the bottom of this video. You know where it is. <laughs> so once again, Thank you for joining us and happy brewing.